Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part 5, Johann Valentin André of Orders of Universal Reformation by Manly P. Hall. Early Portrait of André from the Turbo, published in Helicon near Parnassus, 1616. Johann Valentin André Although his writings are for the most part dreary reading, Johann Valentin André was a dynamic thinker and an ardent humanitarian. He was born in 1586, the son of Johann André, who was Decca at Herringberg and later Abt von Gernitzberg. This boy's life was deeply influenced by his mother, a devout and gentle soul who inspired her son to the selection of a religious career, who was educated at the university at Tubiani, where he became an outstanding linguist, perfecting himself in Latin, Greek, Hebrew, French, Spanish, Italian, and English. He was an extensive reader and a profound student of mathematics, studying with Maslin, the teacher of Kepler, in 1614, André published a series of lectures on mathematics. André left Tubien without completing his course of studies and spent a number of years visiting intellectuals in various German cities. His visit to Switzerland influenced his entire life. He was deeply impressed by the social condition of the Swiss people and might have settled in the country, but for his violent dislike of Calvinism. He held offices in the Lutheran Communion, and when called to Kauf as Decca and Special Superintendent, he attempted social reforms based upon the Swiss pattern. He found a mutual protective association among the workmen of the cloth factories and dye workers, supported by voluntary contributions of his parishioners and friends. The organization continues to this day and is now well endowed. In his Vita, André describes his impressions of Swiss morality and ethics. His remarks are fervent and a trifle stuffy. When I was in Geneva, I made a notable discovery, the remembrance of which and longing for which will die only with my life. Not only is there in existence an absolutely free commonwealth, but as a special object of pride, a censorship of morals in accordance with which investigations are made each week into the morals and even into the slightest transgressions of the citizens. What a glorious adornment, such purity of morals for the Christian religion. With our bitterest tears we must laminate that this is lacking and almost entirely neglected with us and all right-minded men must exert themselves to see that such is called back to life. In spite of disastrous wars which impoverished him financially and resulted in the destruction of his library and art collection, André's sincerity and unquestioned ability were recognized. In 1639, he was appointed court chaplain and spiritual counsel of the Landgrave of Hesse later protestant prelate of Edelberg and almoner of the Duke of Wartenberg, and died in the respect of all men in 1654 at the age of 68. There is little in the life of André to link him with so dramatic and metaphysical a movement as the Rosicrucians, yet he acknowledged himself to be the author of the Fama and the Confessio Fraterneus and his name has also been linked closely with the chemical marriage of Christian Rosenkreuz, first published in 1616. It should be remembered, however, that André was a great admirer and loyal follower of Luther. He felt the need of a further general reform of society. It was to be a twofold program, back to Luther and forward with Luther. André, though essentially a pedagogue, mingled his religious convictions with educational, scientific, and political ideas. He was much broader than Luther and recognized the importance of progress in secular fields. If the Fama Fraterneus is by André, he outlines in this work a model for a college or society of intellectuals who, through the advancement of all forms of learning, 
should institute a general reformation of the civilized world. Andre, in his Manipus, admits that he made use of roundabout methods and strategies in an effort to inspire a sincere love for Christian ideals. In the introduction to his Christianopolis, he recognized two classes of persons. The first, those who admire and defend conditions as they exist, and the second, those who bear patiently the burdens heaped upon them, but who sigh continually for an improvement of society. The devil is forever persuading Christians that no further efforts are necessary. At the time of the publication of Christianopolis, Andre had not acknowledged any part in the preparation of the Rosicrucian Manifestos. He refers to the order, however, in a veiled manner. Recently, according to his introduction, a so-called Bordeschast was suggested, whose teachings were exactly the reform that the world needed. The Brotherhood caused a great disturbance among those corrupt persons who feared the overthrow of their profitable tyrannies. When it was discovered that the Fraternaeus was a secret and could not include the world in general, a praiseworthy man called out, Why do we wait for the coming of such a fraternity? Let us rather make a trial ourselves of that which seems good to us. Andre agreed with this concept and suggested the possibility of the forming of a national community devoted to utopian ideals. 18th century Rosicrucian emblem. This symbol appears to be based upon one used by Martin Luther. Luther's symbol was a heraldic rose containing a heart with a cross in its center. Andre's crest was a St. Andrew's cross with four roses between the arms. These devices may have influenced the selection of the name and peculiar symbol of the Rosicrucians. Although Andre mentions the society only occasionally during the early period of the controversy, it is evident from his statement in the Vita that he had an intimate knowledge of its origin. He was not the type of man who would be given to idle jest or impostors, so we are entitled to suspect that he was a party to the original project and worthy of greater consideration than he has received generally. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.